Welcome to Learn Wealth, your go-to channel for real estate insights, market charts, and golden opportunity. Let's build wealth. Hey there, homeowners. Welcome back to your channel, Learn Wealthy, where we make the home buying process easy to understand. You're nearly at the end of learning how to be a pro in home buying. This is the last video of our Home Buying 101 series. I commend you for taking the effort to learn and grow yourself. If you haven't seen the previous videos of this series, I'll place a link of the whole series down below. My name is James Santiago, a real estate agent here in Houston, Texas. And today, we're diving into a topic that often leaves buyers scratching their heads. Closing cost and what to expect at closing. Closing day is the finish line of your home buying journey. But before you get the keys, there are some final steps and costs to cover. Stick around and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to expect and how to be fully prepared for closing day. All right, let's start with the basics. What are closing costs? Closing costs are the fees and expenses you'll need to pay when you finalize your mortgage and officially become a homeowner. These costs typically range from 2% to 5% of the home purchase price, so they can add up quickly. They cover everything from loan origination fees and appraisal costs to title insurance and property taxes. Understanding these costs upfront can help you budget more effectively and avoid any last minute surprises. Here's a breakdown of some of the most common closing costs. Now let's break down some of the most common closing costs that you'll encounter. The fees and costs in this video are only estimates during the time when this video was recorded. Loan origination fee. This fee is charged by your lender for processing your loan. It typically ranges from 0.5% to 1% of the loan amount. This fee covers the cost of evaluating your loan application and processing the necessary paperwork. Appraisal fee. This is the fee paid to the professional appraiser who determines the value of the home. It's usually around $300 to $500, but it can vary based on the property sizes and location. Title insurance. Title insurance protects you and the lender from any legal disputes over the property's ownership. The cost varies, but it's generally between $1,000 to $2,000. It's a one-time fee that gives you peace of mind that the property has a clear title. Home inspection fee. While technically not always a closing cost, the home inspection fee is typically paid around the time of closing. This fee, which usually ranges from $300 to $500, covers the cost of having a professional inspect the home for any potential issues. Are you tired of fees yet? Property taxes. Depending on when you close, you may need to pay a portion of the property taxes up front. This ensures that all taxes are current and paid up to the date of the closing. These costs can vary significantly depending on your location. Prepaid interest. This is the interest on your mortgage that accrues between your closing date and your first mortgage payment. It's typically a small amount, but it's still something to be aware of. I'm not done with fees yet. Escrow fees. Escrow fees are paid to the third party the escrow company that handles the transfer of funds and documents during the closing process. These fees usually range from $500 to $2,000 depending on the complexity of the transaction. There's more! Recording fees. These fees are charged by your local government to officially record the sale of the property in the public records. The amount varies by location but typically ranges from $50 to $200. We ain't done! Homeowner's insurance. Lenders require you to have homeowner's insurance in place before closing. You may need to pay the first year's premium upfront at closing. The cost of homeowner's insurance varies based on the property's value and location. Still want to buy a house? Haven't considered just renting yet? Private mortgage insurance or PMI. If your down payment is less than 20%, you may be required to pay PMI. Sometimes you'll need to pay the first month's premium at closing. That's a lot of fees, let's move on. Let's go to what to expect at closing. So what actually happens on closing day? Closing is the final step in the home buying process where all the paperwork is signed, funds are transferred, and ownership of the property is officially transferred to you, the buyer. Here's what you can expect. Review the closing disclosure. A few days before closing, 
you'll receive a closing disclosure, which details all the final costs, including your loan terms, monthly payments, and closing costs. It's crucial to review this document carefully and make sure everything matches what you were expecting. Sign the documents. On closing day, you'll sign a stack of documents, including the loan agreement, the deed, and any other paperwork required by your lender or the state. Your real estate agent and the closing agent will guide you through each document, explaining what you're signing. Pay closing cost. You'll need to bring a cashier's check or arrange a wire transfer to cover your closing cost and any down payment required. Make sure to verify the payment details to avoid any potential scams or issues. Final walkthrough. Before heading to the closing table, you'll usually have the opportunity to do a final walkthrough of the property. This is your chance to ensure that the home is in the agreed upon condition and that any repairs requested after the home inspection have been completed. Transfer of ownership. Once all the documents are signed and the funds have been transferred, the seller will hand over the keys and the property is officially yours. Congratulations, you're now a homeowner. Some final tips for a smooth closing. Before we wrap up, here are a few tips to ensure a smooth closing. Stay in close communication with your lender. Keep in touch with your lender throughout the process to make sure everything is on track. Respond to any requests for additional documents or information promptly to avoid delays. Review all documents carefully. Take the time to review every document you're asked to sign. If anything doesn't make sense or doesn't match what you were expecting, don't hesitate to ask questions. Double check all payment details. When arranging the payment of closing costs, verify the payment details with a trusted source to protect yourself from wire fraud or other scams. Be prepared for surprises. Closing day can sometimes come with unexpected twists, like last minute changes to the loan terms or issues with the title. Stay calm, ask questions, and remember that your real estate agent and closing agent are there to help guide you through any changes. And that's a wrap on closing costs and what to expect at closing. I hope this video has demystified the process and help you feel more prepared for this final step in your home buying journey. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It will really help me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to Learn Wealthy for more real estate, investing, finance, and macroeconomics. Hit the bell notification for my future YouTube series such as Selling Your Home 101, Buying a Single Family Home Rental 101, and Buying a Small Multifamily Rental 101, and many more. Thanks for watching Learn Wealthy. Let's all learn wealthy together. I'll see you in the next video.